from where you live. Well, in this state and local weather history, 1835, we had a large quarter mile wide tornado that went through areas just south of Lafayette. Now, that was Lafayette back in 1835, which was just a very small village at that point. But reading some of the documents, it damaged uh, some pretty valuable timber. And it looks like uh, if it took the present day route, from what I can glean from newspapers and diaries at the time, it would cross right over Kasuth, right over Columbian Park, and then cross the intersection of 26 and 52. It actually destroyed a newly built brick farmhouse on this date back then. No severe weather right now. You know, I can't rule out one of these storms briefly producing a little gust or perhaps a little bit of hail, but they're very few and far between. They're scattered about. Notice the lightning up here from some of these storms up in Carroll County, though. Got a little shower pulsing up headed for Michigan town. This one is moving this way up towards Frankfurt. Now there's that little cluster of showers and a few thunderstorms. Camden headed for Yeoman and Monticello. And also this cell with lightning and pretty heavy rain headed for Royal Center. Eventually Star City, Buffalo, Lakeside and parts of Pulaski County. So again, we'll have a few of these around this evening. A couple around overnight as well. 71 at 8 will drop to 62 by midnight. And a low tonight around 57 degrees. Average lows 45. There's the upper low that cannot move. I mean, here's the block. And there's the low spinning, and it's just brought a few little scattered showers and thunderstorms to our area today. There's that massive omega block that's bringing the unusually warm weather to New England and the incredibly cold weather in the plains. Now, once we get into the weekend, some really interesting things are going to happen. The omega block will actually work backward. So as it moves west, the upper low will go underneath it. So I'm really thinking that we're going to miss out on a lot of the rain. I think there could be some scattered showers here and there tomorrow and Sunday, but the main rains, that main band of rain will stay south of here. So some wildfires in New England, very hot, very dry. Same thing out west, but the cold, rainy weather will likely be just south of our area. Nonetheless, some scattered showers, that's the key, and perhaps a thunder shower Saturday, Sunday, but only 30 to 40 percent coverage. Best chance in our southern counties, warm and dry next week. Next chance of storms after that next weekend. So tomorrow, again, the heavier rains are south. So 70s north, 60s in our south, 65 Crawfordsville, 69 Lafayette. On Sunday, 70s north, 75 Rochester, 74 Winnemac, 65 Crawfordsville, 68 at Lafayette. So a few spotty showers, thunder showers tonight. And future cast keeps it dry tomorrow. I still think there will be a few scattered showers and thunder showers around. Nothing widespread, but if you want widespread rain, it's going to be south of here. And the weekend, you know, could be worse. Doesn't look half bad. Be in the upper 60s, again, 70s north, 72 Monday, and then next week. It is dry. I mean, we've got mid 70s Tuesday, low 80s once we get into <coughs> Thursday and Friday. So this is a very interesting weather pattern. This weekend, it's going to be in the 40s and raining in Alabama and probably pushing 90 up in Quebec and parts of Ontario where there's a wildfire danger. Well, after this winter, we'll take half bad, won't that we? That sounds good. For sure. Okay. okay. Thanks, yep. Jim. Thanks,